Welcome back to Ragecraft 2. I'm finally better. It's uh, been a weekend since I've recorded because uh, it was the Elder Scrolls Online beta weekend. So yeah, I couldn't do any recording then because I had to uh, play ESO. God dang it. Um, so yeah, I've uploaded... well, it's, I'm recording this on like Monday, so it's like uh, 20 minutes after I just uploaded the video. But anyway, I've uploaded a PvP video to my uh, Beanstalk, uh, ESO channel thingy. So, uh, yeah, if you're... God dang it. <laughs> I'm rusty on Minecraft. This is, this is gonna be terrible. But, um, anyway, yeah, so, if you're, uh, if you like ESO content, I guess, uh, or just awesome PvP montages, uh, yeah, go ahead and check that out, and that channel in general, because that's where I'll be uploading all my, um, Elder Scrolls Online c content. That's what I talked about a couple of episodes ago. So, eh, my... God, I'm rusty. That's the. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm so dead this episode. Like seriously. Ugh. <coughs> Anyhow, let's uh, let's let's focus up here. Uh, where was that little staircase? Right there. All right. So yeah, we're back here in Death Row. Um. <laughs> we're heading up a bit more, hopefully. I secure uh, off video. All I did off video was uh, secure a bit further down just to make sure that I had a safe and fun fun trip down when I um, get out of here, but I also looted a couple of chests, not this one, but a couple earlier ones, just to make sure I don't miss anything. Alright, where am I? Oh boy. I am so dead this episode, I'm so friggin' rusty. Um, okay, let's try to light up that path, just in case like a, there's like a spawner on there. Let's kill you before you an issue. Hmm, where'd you go? There you are. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I might cough a bit during this episode because, what do you know, I'm still coughing. God dang it. But, um, yeah, not as much as the previous episodes. Is there something coming after me? No? Alright. Da da da, kill that skeleton. Oh, come on, hit you. Stupid hitboxes. Da da da. Torch, 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 torch. Ugh. <coughs> Really should be doing better than this. I am not uh, ready to be recording Minecraft, especially not this map. Okay, do do do. Onwards. Nothing behind me. No stuff behind me. Creeper. Oh come on! So far away from that creeper. Um. God, it's like, I don't need to cough, but then my throat's like, oh yeah, you need to cough, dude. So, um, yeah. Cough. <laughs> Such a jerk. This throat. Alright. Let's just hold up here for a second. Fend off, stoof. And, uh... Yeah, my inventory's pretty full right now, too. It's gonna be an issue. Probably. I haven't looted that one, have I? No, but I want to get to that creeper spawner first. Um, path up here, I believe, leads to that. But there's also a creeper up there that could fall on me, potentially. Oh, oh. Come on, you gonna fall? <coughs> yeah, you're gonna fall. There you are. <laughs> oh yeah, you. You. You just waiting for me, this sneaky little skeleton. You dead? You dead? Huh? Creeper. Okay, let's rush that spawner. Light, light, light. Mine it up. Behind me. Another creeper. Watch up high. There might be something falling down on me. Possibly. Who are these guys? Alright. Another creeper. How close are we to the top? Still quite a ways. Yeah, this is a really, really, uh, large place. Okay, let me do something risky here. There we go. Then you're attracted onto me. So I kind of want to kill you before you fall from there. Oh boy. Run, run, run. Jump. Feather falling. Save me. Alright. Got rid of that spawner. That was what I was going for on that uh, risky thingy. But now I want to regen. Because, um, yeah, you don't want to be 
low in HP at any point in this area. <coughs> Alright, there's a chest I didn't loot yet uh, up here somewhere that was pretty safe, so I'll probably look for that now. Actually, no, never mind. I'll make some torches because I'm practically out. I'm out right now. <coughs> Stop coughing, you don't need to! Come on, body, you know you know better than this. Stop it. Alright, only a four coal, oh jeez. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Gonna be out of torches by the time I'm even close to the top, so... Hmm. Can there please be coal in one of these chests? Please? Like this one, possibly? Come on! Ooh, hole in the stairs. No coal, but an eh, iron helmet. Alright. Might not might not actually have to go back for coal. Ugh, that's weak. Eh, you know what? I'll just not use too many torches and should be able to do it. Do the rest of this place. Hopefully. I'll just save them for spawners, I guess. Let's uh, just get this chest. Ooh, wool. There we go. There's the wool. Alright, so wool obtained. So I can head back with dignity, but I do want to make sure I have all the emeralds, so I'll be heading up a bit more. This is where I was last, right? So, gotta be careful. Ish. I'm not being careful at all, am I? Ooh, creeper spire. Get rid of that, definitely. Alright. Let's make sure nothing's gonna be attacking me. I think I remember there was like a blaze spawner up at the top that I Gonna be gonna want to be careful about. It's also that ladder. Ooh, gotcha, creeper. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. I want that chest. Careful with torches and creepers. Oh god. Where'd you come from, man? Where'd you come from? Very well. Don't see any any more in sight. So, unbreaking two books. Definitely want those. Um, let's take this chest now. Actually. Hello, spawner. It's good to get rid of that. Although, where... <coughs> I think there would be some nearby, but where are they? Hmm. Oh well. Get this chest. Protection 3, it's not bad actually. Blast Protection 3. Out of inventory space. Um, yeah, screw these sticks. Okay, let's take that chest. Is that a... It says silverfish in there. That looked like a cave spider for a second there. I got scared. Alright. Oh, is that it? Now I can't stop seeing cave spiders. Um, kill you, or just kill yourself, I guess. You're pathing on me, I know you are. But where do you think you're going? Huh. Stupid zombie, you can't get to me. Stop trying. Okay, let's take up this chest. Bread, I guess I have a stack of that on me. Fortune, eh. Not something I would use, I guess. So, eh. Man, those natural spawns creepers are gonna be the death of me sometime this episode, I would assume. And I forgot to stop the timer, of course. Um, I should be able to finish this uh, thingy this episode anyway, so I'll just um, uh, start the timer as soon as I get out of this sketchy area. Oh god. Oops, nope, there we go. Oh, that could have knocked me off. Now here's. I hear Blaze sketching me out, but. And there's a creeper up there, but I know that up here uh, is gonna be sketchy, and there's a skeleton. Where's that Blaze? There you are. Shouldn't be too hard to take out. Oh god. Hop, 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 hop. Sketchy. Oh god. Shouldn't. Kill me here. All right, not bad. I'm at the top. Not too much of an issue. Creeper. <sighs> I'm so glad that there's a pretty long spawn delay in that blaze spawner. I remember the uh, blaze spawner from uh, down there in the death row that was guarding the. Was it this? Yeah, the executioner. Yeah, um, that blaze spawner had quite the low spawn delay, which made that a lot bigger of an issue. Yeah, that that has negative um, max health, so I wouldn't want that. Let me see what this head looks like. Is it just a Steve head? Yeah, it must be for the lore or whatever. Okay, 
Uh, so I think I looted all the chests. Um, I'll probably be sure to check all the cages to make sure I uh, looted every single one. Is it, did I lose that one? Maybe not. Yeah, it's dark around that chest, so I probably might actually have... Oh wait, no, the bottom's missing, so yeah, I did loot that one. Alright, so I think that's all of them. Sweet. Let's just uh, make sure I don't get shot off here. Ugly. Had a, he had an enchanted bow, so I'll never know if I had punch or not. But, um... Whatever, I didn't die. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, uh, that's the quick way down, I guess. Nah, not much of an issue, because thank you for the uh, angelic boots with the feather, feather falling. I might as well put, a, put on some pants, I guess. <coughs> and uh, I guess I'm screwing the um, double-checking the chests, because I'm already down here and probably missed a bunch of chests up there, but I'm pretty sure I got them all. Correct me if I'm wrong, future self. Ugh. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got all the cages. Got the wool, at least. Okay. And how many emeralds? Four? Not bad. Wait, do it. can I make another block? <coughs> Am I at that point that I can make another uh, emerald block? Maybe. Uh, you never know, though. I have completely forgot how many emeralds I was at, because it's been so long since I've been uh, recording. Did I not check this one? Interesting. Guess not. Fire resistance, that's something I definitely want, but... Yeah, screw the... Chiseled blocks. Chicken, meh. Alright. So I did miss that one, I guess. And maybe that one as well. Uh, regeneration, that's definitely worth having. More than... I don't know. I kind of want a blaze rod. Wait, do I? No, I don't want a blaze rod. What am I talking about? Uh, instant health 2 is not bad. Yeah, that's great. Uh, let's see, did I loot this one? Down here. Let's just skip this. Yes, I did. And I'm pretty sure I can just, you know, jump in this water flow and get down. Alright. So that's death row, I guess. Got the wool. And I have unlocked the path to the next intersection, or the, the sewers, I guess, of death row. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with this area. I, uh, didn't do so bad in this area. I, I um, remembered it as a lot harder than it was for this playthrough. So I'm happy about that, I guess. It's nice to have something easier than I remember it, but of course it helped that I had played through, play through the map, of course, as it always has. Well, caught myself. Alright, is this the beginning? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. So, I think through back here is to the path to intersection 1. And I am out of here. And then I can go straight to intersection. No, no, no. Actually, there's one more area of intersection one. And then I can move on to intersection two. Okay. So I think I'll start this episode, I guess, on the next area. So next area is, uh, what is it called? A Brimstone River, I think it's called. Yeah, Brimstone River for the yellow wool. I remember that area. Alright. <coughs> so, uh, yay, death row complete. And, um, I guess I'll place the block on this recording. Yeah, I have it on me, I guess. And I'm here, so might as well. Kind of want to check if I have enough emeralds for the block, though, so yeah, I'll just make a quick check at uh, my chest with the blocks. I put emeralds in my blocks chest for some reason, I don't know why. Nope, not enough. Two more. Two more emeralds and I can place my third? Is it my third or my fourth? I think it's my fourth emerald block. Uh, as soon as I get two more emeralds, so that'll be nice. I don't remember what the next item is. Yeah, it's my fourth. Okay. So, light blue wool. Yay, light blue wool has been placed. Area defeated. Death row. Woot woot. And on to Brimstone Labs. I think I'll do some off video stuff now and then come back when I'm going into Brimstone Labs. Alright, so on to Brimstone River. So there's um the yellow wool, but I'm pretty sure yeah, there's like a secondary area in this called like the Brimstone Labs. 
and I'll be wanting to go through that for another wool, I think. Uh, if I remember correctly, but... Anyway, we have our standard Falling Creeper spawner. Somewhere, like up there. Uh, yeah, from that block, I think. Just block right up to that. Put a torch on my pillar so that it doesn't spawn anywhere near me. Pretty sure that works. Alright. So that's a fun start to this area, I guess. <laughs> anyway. This is uh, very lava heavy, so I have a f potion of fire resist on me. And I'm sure he'll give me several more eventually. Uh, can I get any more, please? Oh yeah, by the way, I enchanted my iron pants with fire protection 4 and unbreaking 3, which I had the books for. I had to combine a couple of fire, fire protection 3 books, but I um, got that. I repaired my mithril chest, pr chest plate. I didn't repair my dwarf slayer, I didn't, didn't have the levels for it, but I'll be using the Sent tempest blade for some of this area. Let's just take that, just in case I run out of my um, helmet. Because, yeah, it's it's diamond and unbreaking three, but it's armor, so it's not going to last forever. That hint just talks about the um, stacked potion on top of some of these uh, zombies that has fire resistance for like a couple seconds, but it's not really anything. It's, um, yeah, these guys. So you can get like 30 seconds of fire, resist fire resistance, I guess, but yeah. That's at the mo at the most, I think, and it's just not enough to be worth, you know, keeping the spawner spawn <coughs> keeping the spawner alive for it uh, specifically. So, yeah, I'll just keep it in keep that in mind, and you know, just try to get that little bit of fire resist <coughs> resistance uh, after they die. Ow! Go away, spider. Oh. All right. They have a lot of fire as aspect on their swords as well, so that's why it's uh, kind of helpful to get some of the fire resistance from their death. Yeah, see, ow. It hurts. And of course I have a knockback sword on me, so that's gonna suck. Trying to get to that, trying to get to the uh, potion, but whatever. You see how the spawner was up, up on this block? That's uh, a good idea when you have a potion stacked on top of the mob so that they can actually spawn. Uh, above ground because the, the potion wants to spawn around the spawner and then the mob gets pushed into the ground if the, if the spawner's too low so yeah that's why there's um that <laughs> on top of the block business anyway blah, blah, blah. okay 15 levels is not bad oh hello i'll be wanting to repair my dwarf slayer sometime now so keep that in mind, I have lots of levels now. Yep. Got social zombie behavior. Or spawning. <coughs> so that's a cute mob. It's a nice little floating... Looks like a floating head because of the um, invisibility it has and it's geared so that only, only the gear shows up. It's kind of cute. Makes for cute mobs. So um, yeah. Let's see, there's more of those potion zombies. Let's try to shoot at them, because my sword isn't exactly suited to hit hit them very well. It's not smite. It's a sharpness one, so it's not that effective as compared to my dwarf slayer, which is very low in durability, so I'm trying to avoid using it at the moment. Alright, so it looks like I'll be heading on to that platform thingy. One reason I wanted this sword for this area in particular is not only for the creepers, which are everywhere anyway, but um, it's for this lava and these zombies, and being able to, you know, punch them off into the lava with the knockback sword is helpful. Alright, where are you guys spawning? There's probably a better way to get up on, the, on that path uh, right there, so I'll probably go there as soon as I loot this chest. These guys don't seem to have much HP, do they? That's cool. Alright, I might actually want to go for the spawner now that it's activated and vulnerable. Oh, but of course I get in range of these guys, or of those, that spawner. And I'm forced to run away. Alright. Triple kill. Uh, some general loot. 
Loot seems to be getting good at this point, pretty sure. Yeah, smite. Fire protection, not bad. Power 2, I guess. I'll, I can upgrade that to power 3 and then uh, get my bow to power 4. So that's going to be nice. <coughs> okay, from past experience, I know that, that um, it's not great to go that way because of the mobs dropping down on you from above, so I'll be going uh, this way. I didn't have a very pleasant experience going up that way when I played through this the first time, so we're going this time, this way this time. And thankfully I have a potion of fire resist on my bar, so in case I take a dive into the lava I can save myself, hopefully. Oh, there you are, hanging out on the cliff there, and should be skeleton. Was there a uh, chest in here? No. Alright. Oh, isn't that cute? It's got, uh, I guess, what what would be the brimestone or whatever in the furnaces. Die Creeper! And uh, torches aren't going to help on the spawner, so I'll focus on killing them and not torching up the spawner. And of course, check them behind me. And mine the spawner. Mine the spawner. Don't light it up when there's potions on top, because the light does nothing against potions. So, quick tip. If you have a potion spawner, don't light it up. Mine it up. Yeah. Oh, creepers. Boom. Or not. Thought it was close enough that, that creeper would blow up. Behind me. <coughs> da 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 da. Hey, fire resistance. Alright. So I think, yeah, over here is something I'll go for <coughs> uh, later. <coughs> I don't need to cough, body. Stop making me. Alright, let's just take care of this while I'm here, and I guess take care of these guys while I'm here. Ugh, I always get suck in, sucked into finishing my progress on a, on a quick little area like this. And then there's a spawner a little bit fur further, which I want to get rid of now because uh, the spawn delay is reset. Ugh, it's a never-ending cycle. You notice you just spawned something? Okay, go take out the spawner now while you can. Uh, Alright. Tempest Blade, go! Oh, come on, blow up, Creeper. That's close enough. Or not. Yeah, let's head back a bit. Just to let those skeletons have their little their little tippy. And die, die, die. Creepers! Or not that cute? The Creeper got the fire resistance. Okay, definitely want to take you out. Is that? Yeah, that's some of those swimming, swimming skeletons. There's a few spawners of skeletons that just, you know, hang out in the lava. It's kind of cute, I guess, but um, they spawn like pretty much indefinitely because I don't know where their spawner is. So they're kind of annoying eventually, but yeah, <laughs> They're there. Alright. Take care of this stupid junk. I guess I'm taking some of this fireproof stuff because I, I could use it to replace my gear if, I, if it uh, comes close to breaking. And uh, it's good for this area because everything's on fire. <laughs> so yeah, I bet the fire protection four on my pants is like really helping against these mobs. All right, let's get back here because I know I didn't I didn't explore down these stairs. I'm pretty sure yeah, there's a spawner down here. Hopefully no skeletons to shoot me. I can <laughs> just knock these guys off. Nice. Wee. Is that all of them? Seems like it. All right. Is that all these spawners? Seems like it. Chest unbreaking. I always take unbreaking two. It's nice and it's just gotta just gotta upgrade it one more until it's unbreaking three, and then you can stick it on like anything. And boom, we got an unbreaking three item, which is really helpful because it lasts much longer, and I like not not having to replace items very often. <coughs> no spawner over there. All right, spawner down here though. I can get to that. Die die die. Eh. Eh. Die, die, die. Get your fire resistance. And mine it up. Alright. Safed up this little platform. And yeah, I remember this. Ugh. I kind of actually want to do this this uh, next area, or this next bit, after I do the, the bits over there, so I might come back to this. But for now, I'll just make sure that nothing spawns while I'm not getting up to this, but... Creeper spawned behind glass. 
the glass is nice because it lets you see where the creeper spawner is without having to mine through the wall and everything. Yeah, let's just run away from now. I don't want to deal with this area or this part of this area um, at the moment. I'll come back to it. Whee! Oh, I thought he was going to go in lava. Oh, come on. He's going to die, but oh, come on. I wanted him to burn. You can burn, though. Yeah, burn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think it's about time to to wrap up this episode, so... Uh, yeah, come back next time for going over there, I guess.